and beautiful. We're I love tonal the fall. today. Do you Look, see we didn't even call each I other. Know. Yes, you were feeling earth tones. I was feeling. How are your chickens? Last time you were here, we were talking about your chickens. <laughs> Let's get to the serious Let's just stuff. Let's get right, right to the uh, nitty wait. gritty. Yes. Well, um, the chickens moved to the family farm in Oklahoma. Oh, my each... bunnies. I talked to you about now yes. live in Montana. My my ranch in Montana. Okay. Yes, it's better for them. It, they're happier. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, I, the, each of them went, and I felt a little bit guilty about this, but each of them went in their own little to-go box. Yeah. I was a little bit yeah. like, don't think too much about this chicken. Yeah, you're not nuggets, it's yeah, fine. you're not yeah. a nugget. Yeah. And they all had a little bit of food on the pl yeah. plane with a little bit of Benadryl yeah. in there. <laughs> but there's a Ooh. tiny bit yeah. of health. Um, I love that though, that's fun. Living yeah. on a farm, that's better yes, for them Yes, they, well. they, they don't lay eggs anymore. Yeah, after They're post-menopausal. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what? The they world still doesn't care values. about them anymore. I know. <laughs> But they still have value and yeah. they're still smart, they are relevant. relevant ladies. They are relevant. Yes. Um, no, I have to ask this too because I just moved here and I love it. Like, I'm so happy you love it. Your kids like it? I love it. My so kids love it. Good. We love it here. But you moved here and you were pretty young and what was that first move like? I moved here, so I graduated from college. I worked at a Shakespeare festival. I was doing like summer stock theater, you know, like you know, cleaning the toilets and building the sets and all of this. That's cool. And uh, uh, sh uh, the, the Georgia Shakespeare, where I worked, there was a musical there that went to a strip mall in Florida. And mm -hmm. I went with the musical. And so I worked there. And then I came up here to um, audition for Utah Shakespeare. You can tell I wanted to do, like, yeah. sta be on stage. Yeah. And when I got here, a friend said, hey, here's a backstage. You should go check this out. So I checked it out. I went on auditions. I got three jobs that first day as, like, wow. I think I just walked in, and I was like, hi, my name's Jen. I'm from West Virginia. <laughs> I like to act. You know, I want to do this. They yeah. just kept being like, OK, let's see what you can do. So somebody said, you should meet with an agent. Anyway, I ended up living here. I was understudying a Turgenev play, A Month in the Country, at the Roundabout. About, yeah. And I lived on a woman's kitchen floor, a woman that I found off the bulletin board at Actors' Equity. As you do, as one and does. And there was a futon in my suitcase, yeah. and like tucked into the corner. There were futons? Yeah. Yeah. And I lived there a for nine A couch and a bed. How yeah. helpful is that? Yeah, I never <laughs> folded it up. It oh. was just a little mattress in the corner. Yeah. No, I lived on a mattress in someone's house in LA. That was yeah. kind of similar. I think when you have a big dream, you just are willing to accept whatever comes your way, like to I, get I, there. Yeah. It didn't even phase me. me honestly, I, I was thrilled. No, me too. I was excited. That is funny. Looking back, I'm just like, what in the world? Like, if my kid was like, I'm going to do this. Yeah. But I, at the time, was just like living my best life. Yeah. It did not even occur to me to that feel it was weird. weird that I was living. No, I was thrilled. And yeah. I don't think, I think we get too precious about things now. Yeah. And I'd had no okay. money. I couldn't afford the subway token to get to Times Square. I walked back and forth. Yeah. I made $150 a week. And I worked too much to do real shifts at the restaurant. Yeah. And somehow, I just survived. I just made it work. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I love people hearing that, too, because you're so successful. So those people oh. killing it right now, like, there is light at the end of the tunnel, you know, well, if you really you know put in your time. Well, you know what I think it is? Enjoying the journey of it mm -hmm. and letting yourself be where you are and not just looking ahead, looking ahead, like, I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when I get into Ooh, this college or into when I yeah. am married or when this happens or I'm a whatever. Yeah. I just was, like, pretty psyched to be right there. Um, so whenever, um, whenever you were talking about Shakespeare, I heard, is that the cast that you did laundry for? Is that, did oh you lose gosh. a bet? <laughs> like, I was like, you did, you did okay, laundry? Okay, so in the process, of all of this, when I worked at this strip mall, yeah. um, I was non-equity, but I was an out-of-town um, person, and I think I was making just like $100 a week, oh but it was I was professionally acting, you yeah. know what I mean? And, and I couldn't have another job at the same time, and so the owner of the theater, he said, well, what are you gonna what are you gonna do? How are you gonna afford to live down here? And yeah. I said, I can do anything. I can clean. I can I can do laundry. And I that's said that's why you're successful. You accept it. Like I can work for. Oh, it, it didn't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. But I just said I can do laundry. So there were 35 people in the cast, most 35 men in the cast, and I washed and ironed all 35 dress shirts um, between every show, eight shows a week, and I did that the whole time. And he let me be a roommate to another person in that's one of amazing. the apartments. Yeah. I'm it was glad great. people are hearing that too. I was, because you know why? I hate whenever I, I run into I can really musicians. Iron a shirt. No, because I, 
I run into certain musicians, like, you know, throughout my career, and they're just like, oh, I don't, I can't get a job. And I'm like, there's a Starbucks right yeah. down the road. Yeah. Like, there's a Target, right? Like, what are yeah. you doing? And they're too proud to go get a job oh. that they think is beneath them. And I'm like, do you know where all I've worked? Yeah. Like, do you know how many well, jobs I've had? I, just, I feel lucky that yeah. that wasn't in my way. I didn't get no, my it wasn't own way in my mind that either. And I thought it was hilarious. I mean, by the way, can I just be real here for a second? The amount of times I sent 35 men on stage in slightly damp, very wrinkled <laughs> <laughs> shirts. Throw it in the like dryer with a, a damp towel. With at the wrong place. I mean, I was just like, sorry. I mean, I was yeah, 22. Doing the best. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I could do it now. I don't iron well. I've never ironed. Girl, I throw it in the dryer <laughs> with a damp towel. Anyway, so you gets the wrinkle right out. That was a look at her new movie, Family Switch. You can catch it now on Netflix. So explain to everybody. The movie's hilarious. Explain Thank to everybody you. what's going the on. The movie is so much fun. It's really just, you know, like all body switch movies, it's about walking a mile in someone else's shoes. It's impossible to know what your kids are going through, what yeah. your parents are going through, unless you can actually be them for a day. Yeah. And it's, you know, just a a lot of fun. Just in this case, we all switch. Ed switches with Brady, our, who plays our son, Brady Noon, Ed Helms. Ed yeah, Helms. I love Ed. Yeah, we love him. The baby and the dog switch too, just to add a little chaos. So it's it's the That's most, my favorite part. <laughs> and, and it has a little bit of a holiday feel. It's the most fun, heartwarming, funny. If you have Ed Helms in a movie, you're golden. And by the way, these kids outshine the two of us. They are amazing, amazing. I love that. Yeah. Do you love playing moms? Because I've seen you in a lot of movies where you're playing a mom. Do you love playing the mom role? I do. Because you I do really it do. well. I yeah. really do. Yeah. yeah, I must be working something out because I keep yeah. playing mother-daughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but, it's yeah. awesome though. We're, I'm telling you, my family is obsessed. Like yesterday, it, it, I'm telling you, that movie changed my ah. whole family dynamic. Like, literally, they're like, can we have a yes day? We've Yay. had so many yes days. Good. Like, to where, well, this is the same producing team. We oh. started this process while we were on set making yes day. We were just like, oh, oh what, else can we can, what else can we do? It also loosely comes from an Amy Krauss Rosenthal book, which she, bless her soul, also wrote yes day. This was Bedtime for Mommy about a little girl putting her mom to bed, her parents to bed, and they don't want to go to bed. And they're, we want another glass of water. We want this. So it was just kind of that switching idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, my kids are going to be obsessed with this one, too. I'm, I'm wondering what, because there's like a dance, an annual dance thing that your character does. There's in the movie. a dance. Yeah, there's yeah. a dance. Everyone will be doing it. We have Beth Nicely came and choreographed for us. And it is, she's a former Rockette, a Broadway dancer. Wow. And we had a blast, all except Bless for you. Ed Helms. Bless yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Oh, he didn't dance? He danced. Oh no, he danced. Oh. He should get credit for every single step. He just was like, this is awful. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am so miserable, but he worked so, so hard. Well, I that's would, the best like, tease. Now we want to take. I know. Like, between yeah. takes, I would look back. And we'd be shooting something weeks away from the dance, and he would have his nose facing a wall, <laughs> just like five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Bah, bah. Yeah. Just wanting to nail it. He, yeah, just yeah. wanting to get through. Do you have your own like family traditions like that? Because we have, I literally just had a dance party to Cher's new Christmas song. DJ play a Christmas song because it's the greatest Christmas song ever. Um, but we had one last night at my house. We have dance parties all the time. Do you oh, do anything yeah. like that we, in your house? I mean, we do all kinds of things. During COVID, I talked my kids into making videos with me. Sure. And then nothing else to do. It like, was so, they were so fun. And then they kind of got that I was more into them than they were. And that was it. <laughs> and then no it became more. not cool. Yeah, then it was not cool anymore. And yeah. then they were like, whoink, pulled the, but yes, this, this character has an annual Christmas song and dance video that they do yeah. for Christmas as their Christmas card. I love that. That's yeah. so great. Well, um, Jennifer is also a founding investor of the Angel City Football Club, the oh, women's yeah. soccer team in Los Angeles, which is so cool. I think that's awesome, we're gonna get to that. But here she is at another soccer match. Here you go. Nice. <laughs> You're the one yelling? I'm the one yelling. yelling. I'm yelling like I suddenly know what's happening just because I'm an investor in Angel City. It's like, I go to Angel City, I'm clueless. I know I'm clueless. I just am smiling, having a good time. I know, I and get like bits this. and pieces, you know? I mean, Abby Wambach and, and Glenna yeah. Doyler, they tell me things. I love them, by Aren't the way. Aren't they cool? Yes. I know, so I'm learning, so I'm there a lot. 
But as soon as I'm out and I'm like, my nephew's game in West Virginia, I'm yeah. suddenly an expert yelling things, you know, hey, ref, that's a yellow card. I don't know what <laughs> People at the game are like, is that? No. Like, really? Like, I grew up with everyone at the game. Oh, that's okay. My high so they're school. used to that's you being my this sister. Person. My, that's yeah, amazing. that's my town. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. They've all known me. They are not impressed. Family is like a movie. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. They are not impressed down there. Um, well, we're going to play a game next. Are you ready? La you always beat me. You always beat me in games here. You are very competitive. I am very competitive. I'm ready. I'm okay if I lose, but I want to compete heavily. Yeah, okay, all right. All right, let's, let's take a break. All right, right, we're going to stretch it out. Jennifer's movie, Family Switch, is on Family Netflix Switch. right now, and we've got the perfect game to honor it next. We'll be right back.